Welcome. You're here with Cynthia Varkavisser and Michelle Walters with our first episode of Mind Power Meets Mystic. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here to talk about our change in name and what's coming up in our next episodes. So Michelle, are you excited? I am excited. This is going to be great. Super excited. So let's let's just jump in. Why the hell did we change from it's all connected to mind power meets mystic? Well, some of the feedback I received was what's all connected Too vague. People weren't sure what we were talking about. And so instead, it makes sense to retitle our show based upon who we are, our personalities and what we're bringing to the table and what we can bring to you, our listeners. And so Mind Power Meets Mystic is born. Yeah, and Yes, and I'm super excited about this because I believe we're still going to have the same quality of people. And let's talk about that. We're going to have the same quality of people and there's going to be much more juiciness in it because we are going to do some episodes on our own and some episodes together. So yeah, let's talk about that too. Yep. We also realized that while the two of us have a huge overlap in the kind of people we serve and the topics that are interesting, there are things that make me and Cynthia different. And so we wanted to take the opportunity to have some time to emphasize those differences and so that our listeners could get to know the unique and different parts of each of us. And to that end, we'll see if we follow our planned execution exactly. But our planned execution is to have about a quarter of the episodes, Cynthia and me together, about a quarter of the episodes, Cynthia and me with a guest, a quarter of our episodes would be led by me and a quarter of the episodes will be led by Cynthia. Those might be solo or guest episodes. So what we think this will bring our listeners is quite a bit of variety, hopefully not too much confusion and an opportunity to spend plenty of time talking about each of us individually, as well as where we overlap. And there's certainly plenty of room for overlap. We have a lot of guests that we're excited to invite coming up this year. Right. When we when we did a Venn diagram of who we are and what we do and who we serve, there is a huge overlap. However, our interests are so big. I'm really excited to hear who you're going to bring on because you get to do a deep dive in your own special way of who you really connect with. And, and I can't wait to be a listener on that show. I'm really excited because you are so damn smart. <laughs> and you ask smart questions, right? Where I'm like, hey, 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 let's flow this way and let's flow that way. You know, it's a little bit more popcorn style when I interview people. So Well, that's true. But you always are the fun one and the coming out of maybe not left field, but somewhere beyond it. Part of the reason why we love you, Cynthia. So <laughs> I think to try and sum it up, my perspective on things is a little bit more mental or corporeal or focused on the subconscious where I see your viewpoint as you work with your clients is it sometimes working on the same problem, but it's handling it in a different way, more from a, I don't know what you'd call it, a mystic perspective, I guess. Right. Well, it does. It comes from my client's experience beyond their birth sometimes and beyond birth can be intergenerational, it can be past lives, which I don't touch on very often because sometimes people, when they go into past lives, they start uh, being passive about the things that they're challenged with because, oh, that was in my past life. It's a weird thing that people do, but that's what they do. But we do come at it from a different energy, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so. yet we're both curious about so many of the same topics. <laughs> I know. I know. I get excited every time we talk about who we're going to interview together. So. <laughs> so we thought we would talk a little bit about the evolution of the name Mind Power and the evolution of the name Mystic. So I think when I met you, Cynthia, you were going by Everyday Mystic. And I then was. at some point you became Modern Day Mystic. 
Right. And at some point you told me you wanted to become urban mystic, but you couldn't be urban mystic because that was taken. There's a musician named urban mystic. And actually he has a great song out that I would love to actually use as one of, one of my intros, just because it's so in line, but it's true. What happened was I love the thought of everyday mystic because I felt like we all walk around, we have our jobs. We, we still parent and we have, we still buy gas and yet we have this other side. It's kind of a, a crazy take on what is it? First enlightenment, then laundry, that, (laughs) that thing. But then what I felt was that every day felt a little bit too mundane and are too pedestrian. How do you like those words? That's something that comes out of your space, but it felt a little too pedestrian for me. And I, So I changed it up to modern day mystic and I liked it because it was more hip. It was not trendy, but then I could not talk. So blah, 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 blah. You know, it kind of matched my vibe of being really excited or excitable, things like that. And I really want to be urban mystic. Maybe you can call him and it could be your walk up song. Right. It would be awesome. It'd be It'd the be perfect so awesome. walk-up song. Yeah, right. I don't have a walk-up song, but you have a natural one. That's fabulous. Right, I know. So that's where I am. So where I am right now is because I'm not urban mystic, the thing that I want it to be is and mystic, which is pretty much what I was saying is everybody walks their life. And my job is for you to add your secret sauce, your mysticism to it, right? Whether it's cultural, energetic, things like that. So it's and mystic. So today I'm the ampersand mystic. Ampersand mystic. That's what allows you to be so many different things, Cynthia. Yeah. It's kind of like the dump out, right? (laughs) (laughs) But here's the funny thing. The thing that I love about, first of all, I love mind power. I know you as mind power junkie. So it was so natural. And the reason I thought it was great when I think of you in mind power junkie is you love to read, you love books. And there was a point where you wanted to do a book review on pretty much every book you've ever read. And your library is humongous, which is, that's my vocabulary, right? So tell me about Mind Power. I love Mind Power Junkie. How'd you come up with it? And how do you feel about it? I came up with Mind Power Junkie because I realized that not only did I go to hypnotherapy school to learn how the mind works and how to use it in the most healing modalities possible, but I read a lot and I read a lot now. I read even more, uh, to be honest, a few years ago. And the kind of books I like to read are often about mind power, often about understanding how getting your thoughts under control and being able to recognize that thoughts are things And that it's important to be able to realize what they are in cases where they're deeply embedded in the subconscious to dig them out and see if you need to reshape them or reform them. And so I was like, what do I think of myself as? Well, I'm kind of a junkie in this particular topic. It's not so much a word I use all the time, but it seemed to fit. So hence Mind Power Junkie was born. (laughs) I love it. And actually the thing that I love about Junkie, yeah, it's not something that you normally would say. However, everybody understands based on Mind Power Junkie that you are an avid reader and that you, that you use a lot of the things that you read, right? Where I read for, I mean, I do like some self-help books and things like that but not in the way that you relish your books, you know? You well, I, and I, you and I actually like some of the same fiction. Which I think That's true. <laughs> That's true. That's a shout out to you, Christopher Moore. Yeah. We want you on our show. We're just the putting it out guy. there right now. <laughs> That's right. Author guy, we're talking about you. New year intention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we do read different books. We do have different perspectives on things. And that's part of the reshaping of the show this year is moving into a zone where I think our listeners will have a little bit clearer idea of what to expect from the show, where I'm coming from and the topics that I'm bringing to the table, as well as 
your topics and what you're bringing to the table and what you want to talk about. So right. it's going to be a great year. I'm really looking forward to our 2023 year of podcasting. I am super excited as well. I'm really excited for you, Michelle, and I'm excited for us because the, I can't even imagine who all we're going to have. I have, we have a great list and, and right. And yeah, we're going to have the ampersand better. today. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Let's be abundant with that ampersand. Absolutely. <laughs> it's not that you have abundant. <laughs> exactly. I'm with you. So shall we talk a little bit about what events and activities we have coming up in January and this spring? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start with you because you have some really great stuff coming up. I have a few things coming up in January. Every month I have a special event, a free event to try out online hypnosis. It's over lunch on a Friday. And this month, it is on January 13th. I call it Nourish and Flourish. And it takes from about 12 to about 1245 or so. You have plenty of time to finish up and do your thing before your next meeting at one. But Nourish and Flourish will be on January 13th. My next date is Hypnosis for Sales. So I started this last fall, had really good response. It's an online hypnosis session, again, about 45 minutes. And it's an opportunity to put yourself into the place of doing a fabulous job on your sales calls. And the third thing I am promoting for January is a special and brand new class. It's going to be all on self-expression. It's called Free to Be Me in 2023. And okay. it is on January 23rd on one, two, three, just mm -hmm. to make that easy to remember because Goodness knows I need things that are easy to remember. So if you are looking for something to help you become more expressive and self-confident, check out my class, Free to Be Me. What about that. you, Cynthia? What's coming up for you? Well, before we do that, I just want you to know, I loved hypnosis for sales, <laughs> phone calls, getting me on the phone. Once I get on the phone, I'm okay, but getting me on the phone, not so great. After your hypnosis for sales, it was awesome. It was awesome. I was excited to, to talk Fabulous. to people. Yeah. Yeah. Please check that one out. If you don't, if you want to check out any of them first, that one, I, the one I recommend for me, I'm super excited to have an upcoming four day experience in wine country in California. It's called STFU and listen to your heart. It's an interactive and introspective weekend where we shut the fuck up and stop our monkey mind and dive into what's really important. Then we layer on some secret sauce. You find out what your secret sauce is. And then between your true purpose and your secret sauce, it's you're changing your game. It's an up level. So super excited about that. And I have decided to switch up my freebies and we're going to do a half hour online with one person at a time, you're gonna love this. It's called Stuck, Strip, and Solve. So what we're going Hi. to do, yeah. So what we'll do, it's a kind of an audit where someone comes on, they talk about where they're stuck and I coach them through uh, to what the challenge is. And then we have a very small and manageable to-do list for them to send them on their way. And that'll be happening online. Great. And we will have our details will be in the show notes. Absolutely. Anything else you want to talk about? No, I'm just want to say I'm very excited to be continuing on with our podcast together. This has been a great time and I'm looking forward to all kinds of fun guests we are going to have on our show this year. We're looking forward to February. We're going to be talking about love. Relationships. What are, what are we talking about in March, Cynthia? In March, we'll be talking about foundations, making sure that we're on target with the things that we had committed to ourselves so that we are staying in integrity. It's an easy time to start losing our way and get a little lost. That's what March is going to be about. Fantastic. It's going to be an awesome 2023. We're going to have 
a guest coming up in a couple of weeks to talk about the upcoming Chinese Lunar New Year. Mm -hmm. And we got all kinds of great things coming up. So please, everyone listening, we would greatly appreciate it if you would give us a follow, give us a rate and review on your favorite podcast app, and join us for the remainder of 2023 coming to see Mind Power Meets Mystic. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.